Okay, so before we actually get started with the whole process of making a polymesh 3D, think, think, okay? There's ways to bend this mesh, and they involve some tried and true painful experiences with the whole alt button and clicking and dragging with the rotate feature. Uh, I will tell you this, actually it's control on a Mac, sorry. Uh, but I will tell you this, this is a complete freaking pain sometimes with with uh, fingers. And you know, then I can go in here. I will show you how to exactly work this later on. But I can go in here, you know, and bend that finger. Or, before I start screwing around with the whole uh, masking off the region, I could think ahead and go in here. Let's clear this mask out. And use the Z spheres to do that. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to use the Z spheres to rotate the base mesh. And then make a poly mesh out of it. And it doesn't take much. I just want to bend these a little bit so I can kind of. I don't have to worry about it later on. <laughs> I will tell you, they have so improved these spheres. Here, here's a little tip. How this interacts with this base mesh right here, see how it kind of, it dead ends into it. It goes from here and makes a square. Now, if you look at your hand, that's not really the case. Your hand flows into a thumb. It doesn't just square off and then becomes a thumb. So if I did this, you can see that now it is flowing into the thumb and here's what it looked like before. It becomes the thumb. This is going to be a much harder way of sculpting later on. This is going to be a lot easier. So there's another tried and true tip. Is You can get that if you flow it into the thumb a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now, now I might think about making the poly mesh. And if it comes down to uh, moving this back later on, which I think I should now, and maybe removing that one altogether. There we go. And when it comes down to moving it the rest of the way, I can use the move tool. So I'm happy with this. I'm going to make it into a skin. Then what I'm going to do is in Z sphere mode, I have the skin that now is floating out here. I want to keep both of these. So the skin, I'm going to go back into the Z-spheres, make sure I have that, and then I'm going to append the actual uh, skin. That way, if I have to go back, I have it within the same tool. And let's talk about tools. Now that we're starting to get really into tools, don't forget to save as uh, actual tool. Because if you save as a document, which I see all the time, save as, this is pixels, not tools. So you will find that you will have a nice picture of a hand that you will never be able to move again by using document save as. Always save your stuff as tools. Tools will remain all the levels, all the subtools, everything 
about the tools and sometimes even the alphas that go along with the tools. All right, so that is just uh, using your Z spheres to bend things. All right, on to the next video.